now we go to 126. The Cowboys are up, and the Olympic silver medalist, three-time state champion, two-time national champion, Barry Davis, sets up to go against Brian Stevens. Stevens is a sophomore from Midland, Texas. He came from Cal Bakersfield with the coach, Joe C. His record is only so-so. Well, he's gonna have to have a better than so-so against this guy, because Davis is fired. Yeah, he, he's, you can tell earlier uh, in the warm-ups, but here comes uh, Stevens in on the leg, that he's gonna have to do a little better to hold it, though. That could be a good match if he'd wrestle continue ag aggressive like this. That's what he needs to do. Davis wants to end the, this thing, and uh, if Stevens would go ahead and wrestle aggressively, could take some of Davis's offense away from him. It is true that uh, Davis sometimes starts slowly, but not tonight. He's in on the leg. How will he finish it? Two nothing. He just didn't give it earlier, so it was just a two-point takedown at that Fair time. Enough. Now here's where some of the international experience may pay off. Depends on how long he can stay in here, but he knows how to use the legs very effectively. It's a lot of pressure up there. Gets a post on his shoulder. Mike Allen is uh, hoping stalemate. You can see that Davis was parallel to his man, and he was not able to crank him over in the the arm so we go back to the referee's position again with a minute 47 to go Oklahoma State three on a tough win in the first match and Davis leads two to nothing here we saw a nice little foot sweep right there Davis just to catch him on the way out not two to one after the escape well he's gonna try to build his his lead maybe technical fall this man Very nice carry got two he was awfully close to putting Stevens on his back with the takedown, too. Now he's going to go up above the head and work. Well, he has to keep the arm so that it doesn't go parallel to the long axis. He's got to take it across the body. In order to make this work, Doug, he's got the pry on, but the arm on the downside needs to be posted first. That's why it isn't working so successfully. So he just cuts out. He couldn't do the back. He's, he's wrestling with a lot of uh, abandon here, obviously. Yes, he's not even worried about control. He's just thinking of 15, 16 point match or pin. 40 seconds to go, first period. Davis gets the outside single again. He doesn't have it yet because of the wizard, but no, there he, he gets it. And no. Two back ones. Right to the head, right after that takedown. Now, here's if you can get the shoulder posted that you can see, he needs to get that arm underneath the man, then he'll go. Potentially dangerous. Again, the angle's bad. Eight to two is the score. There's Dan Gable. Looking at his bench, Joe C from the Cal State side, trying to shout above this crowd. Hard to hear anything in this crowd this noisy. What'd you say? <laughs> Just a few seconds to go in the first period. Davis is piling up here, eight to two, and he gets stronger as all that. He landed <laughs> Stevens right on his head. Yeah, well, he, when his hips came up, Stevens decided to go ahead and throw a grand beat. Came down and lit on top of his head. All right, first period is over as Herkey circulates among the crowd. Take a look at that one again. He gets in on the leg, and now the Wizard is preventing the two, and there he jumps right to the head. Now the Wizard almost cost him his, his match there. He just about got stuck. It prevented the takedown. Davis wisely came out and went right to the head. Now here he's trying to build himself up. Eight to three. Stevens had his choice and took up, but he's not, unfortunately for him, going to be up very long, it appears. Well, he's stayed with him. Stayed in behind the arms, but Davis just continues to pick on hands and get to his feet. Scores his point. Davis okay. goes back to work. For the first time, we see him in the two-on-one tie I'd on be, the feet. I'd be very surprised if this match goes the whole route. Davis working hard on the arm. He doesn't have takedown yet, but he's 
trying to pin his man from here. But that front Nelson. What has to happen is that arm that you see that isn't There's isn't the in the down. picture. That's the one that has to go over. So he just intentionally lets him go. 11 to 4. Remember, 15 point def difference makes it the end of the match. It's just like a fall. Another takedown, 13 to 4. Have to glance at that scoreboard, make sure I'm not losing points. Here, now there's a shoulder posted, so he's got a chance to take him on over now. Want to wrap him up in the head scissors here. It's this bottom arm, the elbow you see sticking out on the map. That's what prevents the man from going. He certainly put a lot of pressure on the man. Yeah, that's tough. On there. Young Stevens may not be able to shampoo his hair after this match. He won't be able to get his hands up in the air. Shoulders will be so sore. Ryan Stevens, Barry Davis, lost to uh, John Fisher, the standout freshman from Michigan earlier this year, but that was in the Midlands, and he hasn't lost or come close to it since. Been totally in control of this match, that's for sure. Leading 13 to four, we're 23 seconds from the end of the second period. Boom, on the back. Right to the back. Does he have time? No, he doesn't have time. A three-point near fall. That's 18 to five. Well, it certainly wasn't a wonderful takedown effort where he overpowered his man. So he comes in and he... He didn't he settle for the single. No, he blocked the leg. He stepped past the far side knee and then used the head to whip the man over to his back for the takedown and the near fall. All right, he needs one more point, and this one's over. If he gets a takedown here, it's bye-bye. Well, there's very little that Stevens can do to stay away from him. Just too too much of a wrestler. Six takedowns for Davis. Two near falls, one for two, the other for three points. He escaped at the start of the second period. Up, that's the end of it now. They're going to have to stop it. That's the end of the match. No, it isn't either. 19 to, 19 to uh, five. There it is. <laughs> There it is, the end of the match. Just a matter of time, Chuck. Yes, it was. A technical fall, 15-point difference. Barry Davis, got just what he started out to do, get six points on the board for the Hawkeyes. 21 to six is the final score in that technical fall.